Hi guys, Janet here at the 4-H office. Today's Fun Friday activity is something super, super cool. For those of you involved with the wildlife program, we're going to dissect owl pellets. Now I have a few fresh owl pellets that I got from our barn. We have a pair of barn owls that are living there. Now they're probably hunting out in the fields, um, in the yard around the house, and getting the birds that are living in the barn as well, like your pigeons or your smaller songbirds. But what they can't eat, they actually, owls will regurgitate as an owl pellet. And these are the items that are not necessarily digestible. When an owl eats, he or she will swallow everything and then they form kind of like a hairball with your cat or your dog and then they bring that back up. And inside of these little pellets are bones and feathers and all sorts of stuff that the owl has eaten but could not digest. So how do I know it's a barn owl? Well, I've seen him flying around and I've matched that with a picture from the Lab of Ornithology at Cornell University. And I also have a couple feather samples that I picked up off the ground that match the barn owl feather type. So what we're going to do today is take apart one of these pellets to see what our owls have been eating here in Kansas. Now, you can also download a chart from the Lab of Ornithology that has some descriptions, some pictures of common bones that you'll find inside of an owl pellet from the different animals that they may be eating. On the back, there's also a rodent skeleton diagram. So as you're pulling your um, owl pellet apart, you can actually start laying these out and figure out which body parts, which bones you found. So to get started, what you're going to need, a couple of plates, one to do your dissection on, the other to lay out your findings. I like to have a paper towel here because you never know when you're gonna make a mess. You're also going to need a pair of gloves. Um, these are fresh, they haven't been sterilized, they're not dry at all. I am going to try to freeze the, the extra after this video to see how well they take. In addition to that, you're gonna need some tweezers. Um, you could get some sort of um, something to pull it apart, not necessarily a tweezer. You're also going to need um, potentially a, uh, an X-Acto knife to help cut it apart. And then here I just have a nail file to help as well. Now you can buy the scientific style of all of these items or you can just go to the dollar store and pick some up. So we're going to get started. Glove up first. We're just doing this to keep my hands clean. Also, you never know what you're going to find inside. So if there's something sharp, I may not want to get poked, but using your tweezers, that should help as well. I'm going to grab an owl pellet. These were fresh as of yesterday. I'm going to pull it out. And the first thing I notice, not huge, but if you can see it, there's a songbird feather sticking right out of this pellet. So we're going to get started. I'm going to move the camera a little bit closer so you can see what we find as I'm working. So to get started, I have my owl pellet right here. I'm just taking a, a visual look at it and I can see that there are some white pieces of bone stuck to the outside. I'm going to gently move those to the outside. And then I'm just gently going to start pulling apart with my tweezers. Now, there's a lot of hair in here. Um, is it the bird's hair? Well, no, birds don't have hair. It's actually rodent hair from whatever the owl ate. Now, some of you might be sitting at home saying, well, do those smell funny? No, it doesn't smell funny at all, but we can see cool little things like a bone. There's, whoop, not focusing. Okay, so we have a bone here. And if I look at my chart, I have a pelvic bone. I found a pelvic bone. I'm just going to flip it a little bit so I can see the front. And based on the shape, I'm going to say that it looks more like a vole, which is a little yard critter. So we're going to keep pulling apart. I have a tiny little leg bone. Lots of hair, obviously not digestible, to our owl. Something else that you can see in here, which is pretty awesome. 
is we have an intact jaw. We actually have the top and bottom of the jaw. If I can twist these around a little bit. We have the jaw, whoop, dropped it on my desk. So we have our tiny little jaw bone with the teeth intact, which is pretty cool to find. If I grab the other one, we have that as well. Again, based on the pelvic bone structure and looking at the type of jaw, the way that the jaw angles out, we definitely have a vole here. But what about that feather? I told you we had a songbird feather here. If we pull that out, I can show you the feather. So we've been eating songbirds as well as a vole. There's some connective tissue in here, tendons. We have tiny little rib bones that haven't been digested as well. Oh, there's an extra jawbone here. So this owl has actually eaten two voles and has put them, regurgitated them in its owl pellet. As we come through, oh, this is really cool. As I dissect my owl pellet, you can see the whole top of the skull. I have the skull here. Not as easy to see, but we'll take some Oop. still photos. So I have my skull here as well, which is pretty cool. Again, if you look at the chart, it does look like a vole skull. And as we dig apart deeper, you can see more pieces of a jaw. Um, I'm also pulling out a second vole skull out of my owl pellet. I was hoping to find maybe a little bit more of the songbird that our owl has eaten, but I don't see that in this owl pellet. It may be in one of the other ones. So as I'm pulling it apart, I'm just finding more bones. There's a spine, a backbone. And as you're pulling these out, if you're very careful, you can get them intact. And you can actually lay them out on your plate and piece together your rodent. Just pulling it apart a little bit more, you can see all the matted hair, the fur of the animal, along with different pieces of, a, of the second skull different leg bones, pelvic bones, um, tiny little bones, which might be like toe bones. You can definitely see the curved ribs in our owl pellet. And I found a tiny bone. And if I look at my chart, this is a scapula. So it's pretty interesting to see what the owls in our area are eating and how they digest. So while you're doing this owl pellet dissect dissection, another good component would be to take pictures at each step, the whole owl, owl pellet, and then as you pull it apart, and then the different pieces that you find, photograph that, do a scientific poster, an educational poster on it as well. And then as you're dissecting, Put your pieces on a separate plate, put them in order, try to rebuild your critter and see if the owl um, digested any of the bones or if you have an intact skeleton. Now it's gonna be a little tough with this one because we did find traces of two different bowls in our owl pellet. But it's kind of neat if you're in the wildlife project to take a look and see what's going on around you. For this activity and more fun activities, follow us on the Finney and Scott County 4-H Facebook pages and on the 
West Plains Extension District YouTube channel. Have a great day.